For almost 15 years, Elena has been a devoted wife to her pastor husband and a caring mom to their only teen son. Although she has done the things a wife and a mother should do, she still feels there is something missing. Peyton is an out lesbian writer who deals with grief as she loses her mother, whom she considers her best friend. She tries to move on with her life despite the pain. And his funerals go? Not too shabby. Yeah. Elena visits her love guru friend, Tyler, and confides in him her concerns about her marriage. Tyler tells Elena she has not yet found her soulmate and explains to her that something or someone will come to her life. I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, he is not your twin flame. Someone is definitely coming into your life. Elena wants to get pregnant again but seems that she finds it difficult to do it with her husband. Peyton went to an adoption center and asked for information and this was the first meeting with Elena. Are you oh, God, thank you. Sure. Peyton decides to adopt so she can have someone to take care with as she is dealing with the loss of her mom and also a breakup with her partner for six years. Elena considers adopting since she feels she might not get pregnant again. They exchange numbers as Peyton introduced herself as a writer and she somehow looked for a photographer and fortunately, Elena was once a photographer and she is open to work with Peyton. I'm a photographer, actually. Oh, really? I used to be a photographer. <laughs> This was an instant attraction, especially in Peyton. Wave, Peyton's close friend, comes to visit her and invites her to join a love guru session. Unexpectedly, Peyton meets Elena again during the session. Elena commends Peyton for being brave and decides to raise a child alone. Peyton, you're so brave. To want to have a baby on your own. And this was the chance they've come to know each other more. Then Peyton reveals to Elena that she was once married to another woman. And Elena is okay with it and does not say anything against being gay. Your partner. Your, um, gay. gay. Elena's only son has a girlfriend and she makes sure that she talks with them constantly about their relationship. Elena got a phone call from Peyton and asked her if they could meet and wanted to see Elena's work. This was the start of a working relationship between them, but Wave warns Peyton not to mess with a married woman. When I said do stuff that feels good, I don't mean do straight married stuff. Okay. Elena saw Peyton's book and offered her to do a new profile photo for her as a gift. Can I make a suggestion? You need a new author's photo. This one just doesn't do you justice. Then they started to spend more time together. Peyton even joined Elena's friends and introduced her son to Peyton. And somehow, Elena starts to feel attracted to Peyton, especially those times when they were together and just kept staring at her. God gives you a choice and you make the right one. That's the miracle. The photo shoot session with Peyton for her book made Elena feel really attracted to her, but Elena tried to control her feelings. For this um, photographer, actually. Hmm. Well, we can be very deep. Hmm. Although she can't seem to hide the new happiness she is feeling as the girlfriend of her son noticed the glow in her. Elena made a surprise visit to Peyton as she wants to show her the photos. Hi, I, I wanted to show you these pictures. God, Peyton, you look amazing. It was an awkward moment as Peyton reveals to Elena that she likes her and that Elena knows she is gay. I need to talk to you about something. Sure. Oh, this is ridiculous. I really like you. Peyton wanted to stop seeing Elena so as not to ruin anything, but Elena insists she is happy with the new friendship she found with Peyton. But clears to Peyton that it's the only thing she can give to her and not more than friends. Just please, please don't take you away from me. 
They both did try to really be friends, but it seems Elena just can't hold her feelings anymore. As she went to see Peyton again and this time around, she kissed her. For such a long time, Elena finally felt how it feels to be loved. As she stares at Peyton, she pleads to make love to her. But Peyton doesn't want to do it first since it might be difficult for them to stop and there's no turning back. Elena, trust me. Once we go there, there's no going back. Then Elena tells her she doesn't want to go back anymore to her old life. Then they made love for the first time. Peyton was upset knowing Elena will be traveling with her husband for their wedding anniversary. But Elena assures Peyton nothing will happen and that she won't allow it. Aren't you even going to kiss me goodbye? I will call you. During the time they were not together, they exchanged letters but unfortunately Elena's son found those letters and kept it to himself. Elena and Peyton were caught kissing by a member of their church and told Elena's husband about it. Then Peyton decides to break up with Elena as she can't seem to take the pain anymore of Elena not fighting for their relationship. Don't you know by now, Peyton? This is what I want. I guess at this point, I really don't know that, Elena. Six months later, they unexpectedly meet again, then Peyton was upset when she saw Elena pregnant. But when Elena tells Peyton it was not her husband, but it's Taylor being the donor since she really wanted to get pregnant, everything was clear now that they are really meant for each other. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.